You know, Chris, one thing I'm really proud of that I've done and proud of that you've done is in the old days, coaching was kind of a sign you were a loser. Someone mm -hmm. that got an executive coach or a life coach or something, they must have had a, quote, problem, and they must have uh, issues. Well, what I love about the new world is really coaching has changed. And I see now coaching as a very positive, prestigious thing. It's a winner. You're a winner if you have a coach. And if you look at coaching, the people I coach are all CEOs or could be CEOs mm -hmm. of multi-billion dollar companies. One thing I'm very proud of is my book, Triggers. 27 major CEOs endorsed that book. 27. CEO of the year in the United States. Number three greatest leader in the world. President of the World Bank. CEO of Pfizer. Uh, um, CEO of Target. CEO of Best Buy. On and on yeah. and on. 27 major CEOs. What I'm really proud of is 30 years ago, almost no CEO would admit to having a coach. Yeah. They'd be ashamed to have a coach. And today, it's something that they're proud of. I've really worked hard on that, and I think you've worked hard on it. And in my job, I'm really coaching CEOs or potential CEOs of huge companies. In your job, you're coaching some of them. You're also coaching high potential leaders, though, at all levels. Yeah. And our, our coaches, stakeholders center coaching, coaching high potential leaders at all levels. Uh, any thoughts on the importance of reinforcing coaching for winners and seeing this as a positive, not a negative process? I think it's critical that organizations continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, often, uh, we'll work with a lot of companies who had the model, as you described before, where somebody was on a slippery banana peel, you try to bring in the clinical psychologist to turn them around, and it was all seen as a negative and very clandestine. And companies have articulated that they want to focus differently. Right. And when somebody says to me, it's going to take a long time to turn that around, and I say, well, could the opposite of that be true, and could you turn it around quickly? Hmm. And they say, well, how would you do that? I say, can you think of somebody, let's say a, a vice president, that you see is, has great potential? Right. Great potential. Right. And you get a couple of, who 80% of the company sees as high flyers. You know, right. ev everybody's on this, you know, high potential list. Sure. You know, I mean, I always say, show me the one that isn't. Right. And, and they're on it. And they get a coach. Right. And it's public the way we do it. They're going to say, well, why did he get a coach? Right. Say, well, you know, we're going to invest in him. You know, we want to shorten his learning curve. We want to help him get up there quicker. So you're turning it around from instead of people saying, well, why do I need a coach? Right. To why am I not getting a coach? Exactly. You know, uh, I had one guy several years ago, about three months into this, he said, you know, I really like what I'm getting in this process. But he said, it kind of upsets me, you know, that I was told that I had to get a coach. Right. And, uh, you know, I, I just behave the way this culture is, wants us to behave. And, right. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, so that kind of upsets me. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, okay, I can understand your point of view. I said, can I give you a different way to look at it? And he said, okay. I said, do you see yourself as a high potential here? Have you been told that? Yes. I said, I've been told the same thing. I said, uh, they're investing a significant amount of money in you to help you move up working with a coach. Would you agree with that? He said, yeah. Well, he said, well, so. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? <laughs> he said, you'll never hear that complaint cross my lips again. Well, so, you know, it's, you can turn things around if you position them correctly. I totally agree, and I think it's very important for both the coaches that we train and coaches in general to really focus on helping successful leaders get better. Yes.